Emotional distress as damages. Emotional distress as damages. This is a very brief module to address the role of emotional distress as damages in a tort case. Now, emotional distress, as you've probably already gathered by now, is a legally cognizable harm, which is compensable. The judge or the jury, whoever the fact finder is, will endeavor to reduce this intangible emotional harm to an economic value and then compensate the plaintiff for it. Now, where emotional distress is, in essence, the only harm which is alleged, then the plaintiff must proceed under either negligent infliction of emotional distress or intentional infliction of emotional distress. They have to prove all of those elements. However, where the defendant's tort produces some other legally cognizable injury, some physical damage, such as bodily injury or damage to property or loss of reputation or something like that, some other tangible form of injury besides emotional distress, then all plaintiff has to do is to prove whatever the underlying tort is and then tack on emotional distress as extra damages. 